So to start, I have my prepped 16 ounce Junior. You can, of course, not get a prepped one and you can just spray paint it white, but I do not like spray painting and will avoid it at all costs. So I'm starting with that. Then I just took a piece of my tacky tape here, which is my double-sided tape. I cut that to the length of the cup and then I'm just going to wrap it fully around the cup, making sure to firmly press that down. You don't want any air bubbles in this tape here. So once you have your tape wrapped around the top half of your cup, we're going to, again, just peel the backing off, making sure that the tape is stuck down really well. Now, once you peel this, you cannot really lift it up, so you do try and get it as perfect as you can or as perfectly straight as you can on the first go. So to apply my foil, the easiest way that I have found to do this for a full wrap is I'm going to, of course, screw the cup chuck in to hold my cup on the turner, and then I'm going to start by just placing a small strip of my foil on, making sure that it's nice and flat, I don't have any air bubbles, and then I'm gonna use my squeegee tool and just go all the way around the cup, smoothing out the foil, making sure that I do firmly press down and rub that in. If you don't press down firm enough, then you will have some of those foil pieces lift up, which you can always go back again with your squeegee tool, just kind of rub those in further to make sure that you don't have any missing spots. So once I have my foil wrapped all the way around the cup here, I'm just going to slowly lift off, peel back the foil, and then just use my squeegee tool to go back and kind of rub down any of those spots that try and lift up. Now you can see the seam right down the middle. I'm not worried about that on my cup because that is going to be covered up with a decal. And then also on the top part of the cup, there is just a small strip of the white, which again will be covered up. So now we're going to take our alcohol inks. I'm using two different types of blue here to create this pretty teal color. So I'm just going to start with my darker color and then I'm going to go in with my lighter color. So I started first by brushing it on the cup. However, I wanted to mix the two together. So I just poured a little bit of that alcohol ink onto my mat and then I'm just going to go in with my darker color first then come back in with my lighter color and brush over that. And I'm going to continue this all the way around the bottom half of the cup as well as the very bottom of my my cup. So to create the brush stroke look with the alcohol ink, I am just using this brush and kind of going back and forth quite a few times to get the brush strokes on the cup. Otherwise, what you'll end up with is more of a runny look with the alcohol ink because it does tend to run and bleed. So just using your brush, you only need just a small amount of alcohol ink and then just continue to kind of brush those two colors together. So now I'm just going to take this bronze alcohol ink here and it is a very shimmery sparkly color so I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm just going to very lightly go over just random spots or streaks here in the t on the tumbler. Now one thing to keep in mind is the inks almost tend to repel themselves so when you go in with this other color it almost sort of erases your previous alcohol ink so you really only need just a very small minimal amount here. So I'm also using that same bronze alcohol ink and I'm just very lightly brushing over the foil portion of this as well and it just kind of adds that extra shimmer sparkle to that leather look as well. Now you do want to make sure that you let your ink cure for at least five to six hours. Not shown in the video here, so I did go in with my white spray paint and I just very lightly added a small section to where that seam was. That way my decal will show through more as it is just a clear back. It didn't have any white, so I just added the white here instead. So I just mixed up 10 milliliters each part A and B epoxy and I'm going to apply that over the entire tumbler here. As I do, you'll see that sparkle on the foil here from that bronze alcohol ink that I mentioned. You'll see that start to show through more. So 
So while my epoxy is still wet, I'm just going in and I'm adding this metal bronze flake from CCDIY. And then I'm also adding a copper chunky glitter to the top portion of my tumbler, making sure that it doesn't go too far down. I don't want to cover up too much of the design. I just want to give that copper feel to the top. And then I'll go back in and on the bottom, I will add just a extra fine of the copper metal flakes from CCDIY as well, just to tie everything together. Once that epoxy cures, I'm going to just add my decal to my section here, and then we'll add our final coat of epoxy, let that cure, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fun crafty tutorials, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the description below for all links and discount codes.